Here we are clothesline, the show where we wring them clean, string them up and put them to dry on the clothesline. The election results are out soon and no matter who the winner is, the one thing we can be sure of is change. But while the country has to wait till May 16th for change, we've noticed that one reporter on NDTV has had to embrace change even earlier. Remember this? ...of the parliament proceedings were stopped to pass the bill, which, by the way, uh, got unanimous support, including that of the opposition, the BJP. Clearly, despite her best efforts, NDTV decided the social network was neither trendy nor trending enough and didn't justify the studio, cameras and lighting. So this became this. All right, well, welcome back. Now, let's uh, quickly take a look at all the news that's happening off the ground. How is it actually playing out online? Very, very interesting because lots and lots of different types of opinions. Mim sir, this is your heisiyat ke bohut niche hai. Aap aur ye kaam? Nahi, nahi, nahi. News Laundry now invites you to spot the difference. We feel for Kashish. But no war for ratings is complete without casualties. While Kashish was relegated from panel discussions and studios, NDTV landed an interview with Amartya Sen. So who did they send to interview one of the brightest minds in the world? Pranoy? Barkha? Srinivasan Jain? No! They sent Sunetra. Amartya Sen is quite a trek from the UK to Bolpur. And USA, uh, USA, USA to Bolpur, even much then. more. <laughs> So after 14 years, you make this 13, 13 years, you come down to vote. 13 is unlucky now, she was just being nice. Such a nitpicker this Amartya is. She might have goofed up, but nothing could dampen her spirits. And when she wasn't smiling, Sunetra was at her analytical best. Okay. I know certain things. I'm all Yes. And uh, yeah. so. No, I think people right. have recovered their leadership. <laughs> Clearly, Sunetra subscribes to this. You say it best when you say nothing at all. Now, maybe if NDTV had sent both Sunetra and Kashish to interview Martya Sen, things might have gone better. But did it go better even with three journalists, the top ones? What? Three journalists to interview Amit Shah? Is this an interview? Are you ghirawing him? Or is it because of this? People say you are winning. What have you done that others couldn't have done? Politicians always seem to have one goon behind them. So that's why Pranay took Doram and Shekhar. Amit Shah. I'd be scared too. But this show of strength, you look even more wimpy, if that were possible. But what did they think Amit Shah was going to do? This? NDTV managed the distinction of being the first people to truly corner Amit Shah. Just not with their questioning. Two sides to Amit Bhaiji. One is the soft family man, the other is the perception of a hard politician. Which is the real Amit Shah? Really? Three of you and that's what you start with? Now, a journalist always asks a question with an idea of what sort of answer to expect. So what was Pranoy expecting from Amit Shah? Who's the real Amit Shah? And Amit Shah says, I'm a closet queen. I'm actually Superman, or I'm a Halwai who makes the best khakra in Gujarat. Wah! Well done, Pranoy. Honestly, this would have made for a better interview. Which is the real Amit Shah? Congress has announced they're going to have a judge appointed for Snoop Gate before the 15th. What is your reaction to that? Can I say it? Jinke apne ghar shishe ke hon. Does it hurt you at all about the U.S. not giving visas and all that? And will that change? No, no, Are Babuji, I see English away that I can leave English behind. You see, sir, I can talk English, I can walk English, I can laugh English because English is a very funny language. Oh, but it didn't get better. 
Pranoy kept asking questions in English and Amit Shah kept answering in Hindi. So Pranoy decided to dabble in a little bit of Desi. But your own supporters, BJP people have told us on many occasions, why doesn't he just apologize and get over with it? Agay chalo. <laughs> Pranoy, Agay is Punjabi. Is neither Hindi nor even Gujarati. Though it's all Greek to you, right? But what battleground is complete without something hard hitting? Amit Bhai, I don't know any of you Narendra Bhai. So tell me something about his character. How do you like the rest of the rest? And what do you like to do with it? Hey, look, it's a good idea. Amit Shah humoured them, but guess who didn't? You're determined to prove all these opinion posters wrong. They are wrong. Opinion polls have come out of this country that all the money are taken. The opinion poll was a bad thing. And the vote of 48 hours... You've got evidence like paper? 48 hours before you did it, that was not right. I think you were trying to influence the vote of the vote. That's wrong. Arvind, the vote of the vote of the vote... Nothing to say, Pranoy. Avoid, avoid, avoid. So elegant and non-confrontational. Such a bhadra log. Your show shouldn't be called Battleground. It should be called Chalo Compromise Karle. With a name like that, the three of you probably felt like this. But you ended up coming across like this. While Battleground is a dramatic title, the only thing truly dramatic about the show was the weather. We are here in the heart of Uttar Pradesh, Allahabad. It was hot and dry. <laughs> so the wind has come down, but lightning has come up. So in live TV, if we are all struck by lightning, <laughs> that TRP should go up? Yes. Pranoy almost got his wish. No, not for TRPs. This is our beautiful set. Just have a look. This is our wonderful lighting. These are our beautiful props that we had. And I won't even show you what happened to our uh, light mask. They're all flat on the ground. Oh, that doesn't feel good. I'm sorry. While Pranoy took shelter from the storm, Amit Shah continued his interview spree with Rajdeep Sardesai on IBN7. And Rajdeep was taking no prisoners. आपके ऊपर इल्जाम हुआ था फेक एनकाउंटर्स केस में आपको जेल भी जाना पड़ा अभी भी आप बेल पर हैं आपके खिलाफ अब जासूसी का भी मामला उठा है आपको ये जो जासूसी का मामला है इसमें सत्य क्या Now those were some hard questions and this might hurt Pranoy but maybe you could learn a thing or two from Rajdeep क्योंकि आपके विरोधी कहते हैं कई कहते हैं ये जो वेव है ये टेलीविजन स्टूडियो में मैन्युफैक्चर्ड वेव है नहीं ये आपने आपने मैन्युफैक्चर्ड किया है क्या आप भी तो स्टूडियो में हैं सुवाचे अमित भाई got rattled Rajdeep हाँ ये बताइए आप और नरेंद्र मोदी के बीच में क्या रिलेशनशिप है असली अमित शाह कौन है again with the who is the real Amit Shah what do you guys think he is some Scooby Doo villain now let's see who he really is Amit Shah I knew it sometimes you need to quit while you're ahead Rajdeep while the real Amit Shah spoke to Rajdeep on IBN 7 Narendra Modi was giving an interview to the revolutionary Aap Tak I mean oh sorry Aaj Tak a channel infamous with Modi trolls for this. That incident led to memes like this and the hashtag Bohat Krantikari. So what was this interview going to be like? Watch. In the answer to the Modi Ji, Congress is called Adani's name. 832 per square meter of land gave Adani. A controversy was raised. A interview on the national broadcaster. आपका गया कुछ पोर्शन एडिट हुआ माइनॉरिटी में एक मोदी नाम का डर या तो है दे लुक सो स्केयर्ड एस इफ दे गोइंग टू बी शॉट आफ्टर द इंटरव्यू बट देन दे रिमेंबर हुस पेइंग देर सैलरीज सो दे आस्क द क्वेश्चंस बट मोदी हैड टेकन अ लेसन फ्रॉम ट्विटर एंड सो आप एक काम करोगे क्रांतिकारी काम आप मीडिया है न्यूट्रल मीडिया है और आप तो स्विसेस करके क्रांतिकारी मीडिया है पहले इस क्रांतिकारी चैनल का ज्ञानवर्धन मैं करना चाहता हूँ धन्यवाद भैया क्रांतिकारी चैनल मोदी बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद क्रांतिकारी लोगों को That was the most subtle trolling we've seen in a while. Maybe Modi's troll army could learn a thing or two. Modi's social networking awareness is truly बहुत-बहुत क्रांतिकारी. Modi's Aaj Tak interview wasn't anything special. For special interviews though, there's always Arnav. And we got just that when Arnav finally got his interview with Modi. Kudos to Arnav for doing a great interview and asking all the questions. 
Not that he got all the answers though. आपको क्या है यार कौन जानकारी देता है रिसर्च तो करो यार मैं कहता हूँ ना वो सुप्रीम स्लोप गेट में आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट चले जाइए पहले उसको इस दर मत लाइए बोल दिया मैं और आपका काम ये नहीं है इस प्रकार से मुझे फंसा नहीं इसके लिए आपके इंटरव्यू नहीं देते हैं आपका काम है मुझे सवाल पूछना मेरा काम है जवाब देना नाउ दैज ऑफिशियली नो नीड फॉर मोदी टू डू अनादर इंटरव्यू एटलीस्ट अंटिल आफ्टर द इलेक्शन The Modi juggernaut is showing no signs of slowing down, but this past week the election commission put the brakes on as reported by NDTV. Varanasi turned into a flashpoint between the election commission and the BJP after the party's prime ministerial candidate Narendra Modi was refused permission for three events citing security reasons. So instead of a rally the BJP decided to take the Aam Aadmi Party route and go on a dharna. Now guess who said that dharna tactics are just attention grabbing nautanki the guy who invented them and thinks he has a copyright usme aisa kya afat aa gayi ki unke sare top ke leaders aake yahan pe dharne pe baith gaye to ye to ajeeb lagta hai ye to nautanki lagti hai the election commission stance on modi's rally has made it clear that there are no holy cows in politics but that's because the holy cows are somewhere else and the election express is broadcasting tonight from a village chopal on the outskirts of amethi and i want to thank all these lovely people who've joined us on this broadcast welcome to the headlines today election express we have no beef with you rahul but surely tying that poor cow up and forcing it to sit through your show counts as animal cruelty watch out for peter <laughs> election coverage we're all sick of it as our journalists so ndtv decided to take a break with the ndtv indian of the year awards and who was the indian of the year a philanthropist a politician a corporate bigwig a vote should never be taken for granted and for that tonight we salute the election commission the indian of the year the election commission election commission mubarak ho mubarak पर इलेक्शन कमीशन को मक्खन लगाने की क्या जरूरत है टॉक अबाउट प्लेइंग इट सेफ बट इन इंडिया नथिंग इज सेफ द इलेक्शन कमीशन इज नो लॉन्गर अ सेफ चॉइस इसी मस्ट एक्सप्लेन बायस अगेंस्ट नरेंद्र मोदी आप कैंडिडेट अटैक इन बिहार पार्टी स्लैम्स इसी संदीप दीक्षित कॉल्ड इसी टूथलेस बॉडी पर इफ नॉट द इलेक्शन कमीशन देन हु आई ब्रिंग यू द न्यूज़ ऑफ द रिजल्ट्स ऑफ द लेटेस्ट ब्रांड ट्रस्ट रिपोर्ट NDTV is number 1 English news channel that's trusted the number 1 brand across all print and television in India Pranoy you should have just given the award to yourself but let's not make fun of NDTV without first understanding NDTV They say the zero is nothing unless it connects the dots and the real story emerges unless it captures the truth they say the camera never lies unless it is the essence of india of diversity and tolerance unless it reveals the wealth of nations and silences the barrel of a gun unless it reflects the sadness in the eye of the tiger as forests disappear In fact the dot is the center of your universe and of ours the dot is the essence of NDTV the essence of just one word trust even if i thought i knew what NDTV was before i definitely don't after that what is NDTV dots zeros sad tigers how does someone even come up with that hey man Let's add a dot and a tiger, man, and a, a thrust, uh, and a gun, man. Yeah. While the good folks at NDTV seem to be smoking some good stuff, others prefer a good hard drink like this. So drunk, someone please tag me, see. Smriti, that's deplorable. Getting drunk and posting it on Twitter. You're supposed to be a leader. people look up to you and drunk tagging the election commission what would tulsi think madhu hmm. when she typed so she meant station officer 
Oh well, it's a good thing we're not India today, because then we would have run this. Trunk Smriti Iran calls EC for drop home. In the last fortnight, not only did CNN and IBN grab the attention of John Oliver, but so did Arnab. Do you have self-righteous anchors repeating themselves over and over again? And how dare you bring RSS all the how time? Dare you you how dare you say I take money? How dare you say I take money? How dare you say I take money? You provoke. How dare you say I take money? 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 You dare. How dare you say I take money? How dare you say I take money? How dare you? You say this to me. How can you say I take money? Speaking to people. You. How dare you say I take money, Miss Lakey? Holy shit! They've stolen our formula. Arnab. 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 Shouting and repetition are enough to get the attention of HBO in the US. But you need to do more if you ever want to grab the attention of the BBC. But what more could Arnab do? This is what happened on uh, Seven Stars, their network. Two guests talking about the situation in Syria, Shaka al-Jahari and Mohammed al jayusi And, uh, well, just watch what happens, because they're having quite a disagreement, and it turns rather ugly. Yeah. The presenter there is... Well, the, uh, the presenter there is... <laughs> <laughs> take note. One question, though. What on earth were these men trying to do with the table? CNBC of ours caught our attention with this. Modi government Energy, Petrochemical and Mines Vivaag CNBC on the surface, this seems harmless enough. The Gujarat Petroleum Minister Saurabh Patel talking about the Modi model. Right. Wrong. That Saurabh Patel is a relative of Mukesh Ambani on a Mukesh Ambani-owned channel explaining the Modi model. Which is surprised the Aam Aadmi Party's conspiracy mill hasn't caught wind of this. But we have... Same thing! Oh, stop! So what does Times of India do? Is it Yashwan Sinha or just one thing? Because Yashwan Singh is dead. Wrong name on the picture. Again, Times Now was ordered to pay 100 crores by the Bombay High Court for something similar. When will you learn? Well, that's a wrap for the week. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. If you have any moments from journalism that made you go, oh wow, or oh crap, write in to us or tweet to us. We are the change. You are the change, for better or worse. Never do nothing. Stay connected, stay online.